Good evening, you're watching ABC 27's News at 11. I'm Gabriela Mercurio. Tonight, fans across Tallahassee from Florida A&M to Florida State gathering across the city to support their teams hundreds of miles away. ABC 27's Micah Cho brings us more from the diehard fans who say they love their school and their teams no matter the outcome. I mean, I mean, big time. I mean, I've been a Florida State fan my whole life. I mean, I've wa I watched the 2013 National Championship team. If you're anything like FSU senior Brandon Holtz, who says he hasn't missed a single FSU game in 10 years, you're feeling good about the new 2022-2023 Seminoles. I mean, I've watched, I don't think I've missed a game for the past 10 years. Although both FAMU and FSU were playing away Sunday afternoon, the capital city was filled with fans from FSU flocking to one of the many watch parties at popular bars and restaurants. We're hoping this season is better than the last. Um, we love to see Jordan Trav running around. Uh, we love to see him making some passes, making some good calls. Also supporting their team, those who gathered at Island Seafood on North Monroe Street, sporting the orange and green of the Florida A&M Rattlers. Although he didn't go to FAMU, Nathaniel Travis fell in love with the Rattlers because his mom is an alma mater of the university. You know, I still support them. You know, they look as the underdogs of Tallahassee or whatnot, but you know, I'm, I'm for. This is the second FAMU watch party that Island Seafood owner Felicia Stanley has held this year. She's overjoyed at the response each week that Rattler fans have for their local HBCU. Well, it's an honor and a privilege for us to gather together to support our community, especially at HBCU. We're FAMU over here. Win or lose, these sports fans from Tallahassee say they'll always love the Rattlers and their Seminoles. FAMU means to me unity and togetherness and striving even when things get hard and when things are rough and tough. I love it so much. It's the best school in the world ever. 